So now in this example, previously when we found two terms, we looked at using um, you know, the difference of two squares. But we kind of have an issue here using the difference of two squares, because we notice that 7 is not a square number. So another technique is, well, if we set this equal to 0, we realize we actually don't need to use factoring. We can use the square root method. So if I add a 7 to both sides, I get 7 equals x squared. And then I can undo squaring by introducing the square root. Now, the problem is I can't do anything else with the square root, right? So I'm just going to have to leave this as plus or minus the square root of 7. Part of the reason why we're not going to be using calculators is because I don't want you to approximate the square root of 7 as 2.6457513. I want you to leave it as the exact answer. All right? So there is my zeros. But again, this brings us to our question. Like, all right, if these are zeros, but then what is the linear factorization? And what is the multiplicity? How can I do this? Well, again, this kind of goes back to like, how did we go from zeros to factors? And just a quick little reminder, if I had x squared minus you know, 3x, so let's say plus 2, we were factoring this to x minus 2 times x minus 1. Now we do the zero product property. And then we can see that x equal 2 and x equal to 1. So the important thing what I'm telling you guys is these are the zeros. x equals square root of 7 and x equals negative square root of 7. And what I want to do is I want to go from here to here. right? So basically what we're doing is to find the factors, we're setting our zeros equal to 0. right? So you don't need to really show this step, but I'm just doing it so you guys can see where these zeros are coming from. So therefore, I have x minus square root of 7 is equal to 0. x plus square root of 7 is equal to 0. These are the factors, just like these are the factors. So now, if I wanted to write the linear factorization, I could just say f of x is equal to x minus the square root of 7 and x plus the square root of 7. That's the linear factorization. And also, it's helpful. Now that I know the linear factorization, I know what the multiplicity is of my linear factors. right? So I could say x is equal to plus or minus square root of 7, and they all have a multiplicity equal to 1. Okay. Any questions on that?